Hello. Welcome to the Art Project. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please tap the bell so that you'll get notifications of future videos. Okay, so anyway, uh, I got five tips for you to be uh, an artist in your own home. All right? So I'm going to take you to my bedroom and I'm going to show you five tips to help you be a successful artist in high school in your own home. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. I would like to welcome you to my bedroom. Now, I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, kind of strange, but this is my bedroom, and I'm going to show you how, as a teenager, as a high school student, you can be an artist. All right? So, first of all, um, you're going to need a few things. Obviously, you need to um, have a place alone that you can do your artwork. Sometimes the kitchen table is too busy. Sometimes um, you've got siblings that are always in the way and so on. So I'm kind of hoping that you have a bedroom space all your own. And so if you do, then here is just kind of a quick thing that I did as a kid, as a teenager, to make my own uh, place to work. It's pretty simple. I found a piece of plywood. It doesn't have to be real thick. It doesn't have to be real big. And I could use that as a table. Also, if you have a sketchbook, sketchbooks will obviously come in real handy. This is a watercolor block you can buy at the local um, hobby shop, craft store, and that's a, also another one. And the um, sketchbook that I use most of the time is uh, this one right here, and so this just gives me a real sturdy place to work. I can, I can work on it right here at my bed like this. Uh, this is some pins and pencils. I can work at it right here at my bed, or if I want, I can get on my bed and work on it here, right? Or I can put a pillow in my lap, and I can put this on top of the pillow, and I can work like this, all right? Now, that's just one quick tip so that you can work at home. Well, let's look at another. Another quick tip is a tackle box. That is my tackle box. Let me show you what's in it. All right, now what I have in my tackle box is not necessarily what you will have in your tackle box. And by the way, this is just a fishing tackle box, all right? I bought it at Walmart a long time ago and I use it to carry around some of my art supplies. It's easy to grab stuff and go. You could also have um, an art supply box like this. This is helpful too. And I do have some art supplies in here. This comes in real handy. But um, for more stuff, a real nice way to organize is to have a tackle box. It's got a place for pens and pencils and erasers and whatever you might need. I've got some space up here for more stuff. Um, I've got my pens. I've got my brushes. I even have my ink pens. Um, dip pens. I have brushes. Whatever I might need uh, to kind of art on the go. And then the bottom part is for uh, paint. Uh, I've been mixing up my own inks and putting them in these little jars. And then I have jars of ink. I've really been getting into painting with uh, different colored acrylic inks. These are FWs. 
And uh, if you had tubes, they would lay down here in the bottom. If you do uh, watercolor or acrylic tubes or whatever, uh, you could put that in the bottom. So whatever you're using, whatever material, charcoal, charcoal would go great in these things, or um, uh, oil pastels or colored chalk, whatever you whatever you like, you can retrofit your tackle box to carry that stuff in. Like I said, it's ready to go. Now, I've also got one of these, so if I can't uh, get everything into here, I've got a little bit more space, and this is, again, just more um, pens and brushes, and I've even got a toothbrush for splattering paint, um, stuff like that. So, it's a space maker. So I can grab this and go if I need to, along with, like I said, my sketchbook. Now, if I'm going out... Um, by the way, I can take this out to the beach or wherever. I can take that with me. Um, but if I want to just go, say I'm going to the coffee shop, I can take my sketchbook and this handy little pencil carrier. I've got a pencil, an eraser, a pen, and then a flare of some kind in there. And it snaps, and you can get different kinds of these. This just slips in my pocket real fast. And, uh, of course, my sketchbook. But, wait, there's more. Also, if you are in your room and you paint, here is a quick way to make an easel. All I did was take uh, two nails and nail them into my door. Now, get permission from your parents first. Get permission from your parents first before you put nails in the thing, but then you can set your canvas on it, and you can paint right there. I did that for years uh, growing up. I had a closet door that I put two nails in, and uh, that was my easel. I even had a nail up at the top, and I could bend the nail down to hold it, bend the nail up to pull it out. So there you go, uh, an easel and a table. Thanks for watching.